So it's eight o'clock in the morning. I've loaded 10 already. So that's pretty good. Day's Thursday. And we ought to have a good day today as long as everything holds out. I had said that we were gonna wait on putting that winch on, but actually uh, we're doing it today. Uh, Patrick's down there. We, He's working on the 6.30. We had a couple things he needed to do on it. So he's down there working on it. And as soon as he gets done with it, then we're gonna shut the 6.35 down. Derek's gonna move real close to Kevin. And we're check and feed him pretty easy with the 6.30. And then uh, and we're fixing to hop on this side of the road and go to cutting all this over here. That's what we're about to do. So it'll be, uh, it'll help us out. But in the previous video, I talked about the grease fitting the ends. This is the one that I'm currently using right now. This is a, uh, if it'll focus. It's a Lincoln end, which I like the Lincolns. And it's a, it's a larger diameter. So it's actually a locking end, but you don't have to squeeze anything to make it lock. It's a really good end. It's very comparable to a locking lube. I don't like a lock, locking lube at all. And here's why, because they're very messy. And also having to squeeze, I, I don't have time, you know, when I'm greasing. And this one right here actually slows me down a little bit too. I'm not that, it's better than a locking lube in my opinion, but I'm still not as crazy about it as a regular one. The biggest beef I have with this one is a large diameter end because of the locking mechanism in it. On regular fittings that are out in the open, it's fine. But if you've got something recessed, it'll go down in the recess, but there's no room for error whatsoever. So if there's any grease buildup or anything in there, it's hard to get it, hard to get it to go in there. And, and on the recess ones, it's actually harder to get it off too. But it is a it is a good fitting though. There's no telling how much grease I've run this thing. I've had it almost two years right now. Uh, that grease gun. There's no telling how much grease I pumped through that thing in those two years. You can hear the 635 there coming into Kevin. So hopefully I'll have a I can catch it just right when Patrick goes to put the winch back on the 635, and I can go down there and. Uh, film some with him maybe i don't know but man when we're when we're running the trucks like we're running right now i really don't have much time at all to, to get down and do anything i pretty much am locked to that loader the entire day you know working up there and it all the pine straw falling on him these uh trees alongside the road always suck see all the limbs on them because that sunlight can hit them make some limbs grow and it's a crap flying in there Cut that stump off. That's gonna blow it back at me right here. Y'all watch this. Them chips will come all the way over here. That's a big tree. Rough. Once you get away from the road, the trees clean up. The limbs aren't near as bad on them because they're shaded. Break the top out of that tree. You 
in the dirt. <laughs> I wish y'all could see that. It'd be here, be out here standing beside me watching that thing run. I mean, it's just, I mean, it just it's unstoppable. I mean, it just, you can spin any which way you want to on it, you know. See what he did on that one, it's got a big bud on it, so he baited it. Yeah, he baited it and let his disc catch back up. And then he'll stick his saw right back in that same slot to where he can cut all the way through it at one time. You see when he cut that tree, that sunlight that come out right here. That stuff will grow next year, buddy, in the spring. It's all about to get that sunlight to the ground. throw it. See it laying right there even with that other one. This one here, he's gonna have to double cut it, that one right there on the point. Oh, too low. Yeah, let his disc catch up. She's falling though, look at her. They got it. It's amazing the calculations that are going through your mind when you're running these machines like this and the stuff that your brain is having to process when stuff like that goes on, you know? And then your reaction that you have and whether it's going to be the right reaction or not. Machines running this dust. Look at the dust floating all the way across there. All right, dude. 
She let that thing hit my loader. What he would, if I was gonna cut that tree, I would bait it from this side and then I'd track up here in the road and cut it and throw it back is what I'd do. Let's see if he does that. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Cause that in there is too big to make a single pass through it to cut it. And it's right there at my loader too. Before he cuts that tree, he'll take and he'll lean that head forward just a little bit to where the top heel of that head will touch the tree first. And then it will start, it will start pushing the tree over a little bit before he ever touches it with the saw. That way it guarantees that the tree is going that way. If you hit it with the saw first, it can flip right back over the top of you or to the side of you. See him lean the head forward. Head gun. He still about let it get away from him. Y'all see that? That's a heck of a wood chip. I gotta get back up to my loader here. You see all that dust on my loader boom? You gonna be on camera? Look, everybody gotta see how sexy you are. <laughs> we got our fire extinguisher guy here today, or one of them. That thing's sweating, boy. <laughs> Why can't you just stick it over the top of the old one? Cause that, that, that ain't very classy. You want a knife? Do you even, you ain't even got a knife. You probably got a gun on him, but you ain't got a knife, do you? Oh, uh, all right. There we go. I almost Do you got two? In case that one goes flying, you got a second one? No, I don't need two. See, I, me and you got to wrestling around, you know, and I started getting a better end of you. I got two on me, see. Yeah, see, I get you. I ain't wrestling nobody. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to get a hold of me. You bigger than I am. Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin's over there running. I'll get Derek's machine fixed up too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So what we have to do is we have to get these fire extinguishers a new tag on them once a year. Machine's got one on it. Woo. Don't hit the track, dude. Mm. That wouldn't have been good. Stop the working, man. I know, dude. Killing us. There we go. So these things have to be inspected once a year, which basically just means they come out and put a new sticker on it, make sure the charge is still in it. Might take and shake it a little bit if it feels like because you can feel that powder in there when he does that. What it feels like that one there is mounted in that skitter horizontal, which is a good thing because when you stand it up, it's good to go. It shakes it up rather than being vertical and it's sitting there pounding all the time. So there he goes. 
Oh God, here we go. All right, Lord have mercy. There you go. Well, they got the winch on there. They need help getting it rolled up. Show us them guns, man. Show. Come on, man. Pull that kink out of that thing. There you go. Got one more. Up. Oh, almost. Look at you go. What you sweating for? All right, tell me a second there. Boy, this song going right here ain't playing. Like she said, they don't seen you film this one time. I said, man, people like to see this stuff. They like to see it over and over and over again. Oh, that's feeding on there good, I mean. That's that ally winch. He just rebuilt it is what he did to it. Make it go as fast or as slow as you want to on these. We'll be about to the end of the day, on thing now. Yeah, I see it coming up back here. There's a burr. I seen it. All right, Patrick. It's coming. This machine right here has 9,340 hours on it. I just looked at it. And you talk about something that will pull. This thing, this thing will pull. It don't play. Here I am, Chad. Get it over here, Chad, where you can get on this and get to running on it, because it'll, it'll pull a good bit more than that 630 wheel. I ain't got the door shut all the way right there. That's what all that bumping is. That dang 630 ain't no slouch, but it ain't no match to what that thing is right there. Let's see, I think I'm at 23 right now. Loads is what I'm at. We should end up with about 27, I think. So just to cap things off, man, uh, today loaded 29 is what we ended up loading today. So that's 24, 28, 28, and then 29. It puts us at 109 in four days. So uh, we'll see what we get tomorrow. Uh, not sure how the meals are going to do. Some of them close a little bit early on uh, Friday. and uh, But we'll run, we'll run with it there and see what we end up with. It should be around 130 130 something maybe in the low 130s but uh i'll let y'all know in a day or so I'm, i think saturday's video if everything works out right it's gonna be a little short video if things work out right i've already got it uploaded and, and all that but uh hope y'all have a, a good weekend remember i'll be in the at the sunbelt ag expo there's a link in the description for it there uh middle of october Moultrie, georgia that's a big show. That show ain't no joke. Yeah, uh, if you're in the farming or any kind of ag stuff, or I mean, it, it basically covers everything. I mean, um, so if you're into that, come on. Uh, I'll be at the Hus Farner booth. Uh, they'll be selling chainsaws. A local dealer there will be selling chainsaws, Hus Farner stuff. I'm sure they'll have killer deals on some of that stuff too. They always do. So uh, come on, you can run them there too. So we'll catch y'all there later, times.